understaffed and underpaid. That's how some city probation officers are describing their department, and they say it's only getting tougher. CBS 2's Kevin Rincon spoke exclusively with the union's president. We're overwhelmed, caseloads are high, and it's a lot of pressure. Dalvany Powell is the head of the probation officers' union, a group of 741 officers. Our caseloads have increased. Um, those who would have otherwise been in custody are now coming to us. She says that's increased the level of risk her members are exposed to. As probation officers, they work with young felony offenders, gang members, they execute warrants. They're armed, trained, and required to have a college degree. But despite all of that, they're considered civilians. So when one of them gets hurt, things are different. They don't get three quarters pay. They don't have the pensions and the benefits like NYPD and corrections. Her department is made up of 85% women and 90% people of color. Starting pay, a little north of $45,000. It's very hard to try to get people to come to work here because of the salaries. Nobody can make it off the salaries living in New York. She says they've tried to change that for years with no luck. Starting at 45000 is really inadequate and it should never have been. And it was, uh, we have to right this wrong. I think if they double their salary, that still wouldn't be enough for the job. So. Council member Robert Holden is on the Public Safety Committee, says probation officers often are key in reducing the number of repeat offenders. Call them surrogate mothers, a comparison welcomed by Powell. You have to love what you do to stay here because that's the spiritual gratification that you get from doing the work. In March of last year, Powell met with Mayor Eric Adams and says conversations with his administration have been ongoing. In the Bronx, Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News.